Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and I'm the original favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I'm over here in a new community by KB Homes called Nighthawk in the Kestrel Commons Village. They just opened up last month. There are about 192 lots with six different floor plans to choose from, and three are modeled right here. Um, they are all two-story homes as well. Uh, today we're going to take a tour of the model 1720, which is actually the square footage with three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two-car garage. The base price is $489,990, and they have three different elevations to choose from. So an elevation basically is meaning the different lines of the house, of the outside appearance. What are they going to use, like the masonry work tile? Um, this one's more boxy. The other one has more of a traditional look. That way, not all the houses here in Summerlin look alike. They try to give you different elevation options. Um, this will be a gated community. And the monthly HOA for Nighthawk is $85. Summerlin West is $55 and the semi-annual SIDS is $280. They will have a community park in this as well. So that's pretty cool. So we're touring the 1720. I think I already said this, but just in case, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Yes, I did say that. Never mind. So let's go take a tour of this plan 1720. So as you walk in, um, you have the stairs to the right and then you also have the garage door which is locked. You have a closet. That's a good size closet. Then you have a half bath down here. And this is probably as generic as the bath will come. Um, and I do believe this will be, the, this could be an option for your flooring. I'm not quite certain if this is a, a downgraded option or not. But as you walk in, you have the big living room area and then dining room and then also the kitchen. So this kind of reminds me of a smaller version of the model 2466. It's just a very smaller version, but at least the kitchen is still a great size. Uh, it looks like they went with the, I think these are standard cabinets, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and also they went with granite countertops instead of quartz. They also have the option here with the cooktop and the microwave. I do believe you may have a different option of adding the vent hood in lieu of the microwave and then doing a microwave um, oven combination. So this has the double ovens with the cooktop and microwave. When you buy new construction, the only appliances that don't come with the house is typically your refrigerator and your washer and dryer. So they have a decent sized pantry. So these homes, they had 192 lots. When they first opened up in December, they had 15 lots released. They've only sold three, so they have 13 lots available. And what that means is that they are homes that you can pick the options and build from ground up. You, they don't have quick move-ins or spec homes. So what that means is you're gonna go to the design studio, actually. Before you even write a contract, you're going to choose your structural options. Structural options can be your sliders, um, a bunch of numerous other things like adding a fireplace, adding a gas stub, etc. Then you go under contract and then you're going to make an appointment, or they're going to make an appointment for you at the design studio. And at the design studio is where you get to choose your upgrades like your countertops, your cabinets, and also your appliance package and then also your flooring. Typically, the wet areas, your kitchen, entry, laundry room, and bathrooms will come tiled. Everywhere else will be carpeted. Now, a lot of people say, get the generic, whatever the builder provides, and then you can get someone else to put the flooring for you. But for me, that's a hassle. I would just go with the upgraded flooring, but everyone has their preference, but that's one area I would not skip it on when it comes to upgrades. I would... No one likes carpeting in Las Vegas. If you do have carpeting, then I would just make sure it's only in the bedrooms or upstairs. 
Um, and then the electrical package is where you get to choose your um, can lights, how many can lights you want, if you want pre-wire for pendant lights, if you want pre-wire for ceiling fans in all the bedrooms. Typically, the great room and the primary bedroom will have a pre-wire for ceiling fan. Everywhere else is extra. So all these little things start adding up, and people tend to spend 10%, if not more, on upgrades. Um, so it starts adding up. Also, uh, at the design studio, you'll have different options of what kind of fixtures you want, and it just the list can be endless. Now, the lot premiums here are anywhere between $3,000 to $60,000, and the lot sizes range between $3,200 sorry, to around uh, $5,800. So they're smaller lots, and the reason they're smaller lots is because this is what's called a Kestrel Commons Village. Homes in this village, see like this is an upgraded option, are gonna have smaller lot sizes. They're gonna be a lot closer together um, because of the urban feel they want. This is off of Lake Mead and the 215, and it's right next to the Kestrel Village. Now, this will eventually lead to Summerlin Parkway, this road right here, and um, on Summerlin Parkway, they're gonna have the urban core. So this has little views of the strip. It's kind of dusty out there right now and also of downtown Las Vegas. Now, depending on the location of the lot and the size, that lot premium will go up. Let's go take a look. It's a good size kitchen. I like this layout. This is a very common layout, and I think that's why it kind of mimics the 2466 floor plan. And I bet you this is a smaller version of the 2466. Let's go look upstairs. Yep, it has the same feel as the 2466. Let's see the placement. The only difference is this one doesn't have a loft, um, so that diminishes the square footage. I mean, they have this, but that's not as big as the other loft. Right there is the primary. And then you have two bedrooms up here. Or three. Wait a minute. What's going on? Two bedrooms. Very nice. <laughs> that's a cute little bed. Ooh, the laundry closet. I wouldn't consider this the laundry room. It's just a laundry closet. And then the secondary bathroom, which the beautiful, love these tiles. Um, now this is an option where you could add a second sink or have one sink and a big countertops. They use the generic quartz countertops and they also use the generic builder grade tub shower insert, which is still very nice. Um, KB is not known for like decking out their model homes like Toll Brothers or Pulte or TriPoint. Um, a lot of the options are probably pretty much what you see is what you get. The nice thing is I really like this texture of the walls, very nice, but it looks like these are the standard um, baseboards that come with the house. Let's see, you have a little closet right here. Okay. And then the primary bedroom. It's decent size. With the same tiles. Double vanity. And the generic tub, I mean, the generic shower. And I'm not sure if you can even put a tub in these bathrooms because it would be a very small shower if you were able to put a tub. Then the window right there. Good size linen closet. Your bathroom area. And the master closet with the smart panel in it. Small closet, but this is only 1720 square feet. So to summarize, I'm over here at Nighthawk in the Kestrel Commons Village by KB Homes, and we're taking a tour of the 1720 model. 
which has three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two-car garage. And the base price is starting at $489,990. If you're thinking about buying new construction in Summerlin, I am your new home sales expert. I sell a lot of new construction in the Summerlin area and Las Vegas as well. You can reach out to me at 702-370-5112. Let me know in the comments what you think of this floor plan and if you're interested in buying here. As always, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video tour. Have a good one.